Hey guys, um, I'm gonna go and hang out with a couple of my friends, um, hang out with my favorite bassist. Uh, you get you will get to meet him later. Um, we're gonna do like a like a small tribute to Toots. Um, if you don't know Toots, uh, he's one of those legendary um, ska and reggae guys. Um, recently, um, we heard the passing of Toots, and one of my friends. Uh, decided to like, you know, we hang out and probably like jam a few songs of, um, do a bit of a cover of for Toots. So um, I'm gonna pack up all my stuff and then we're gonna meet uh, the bassist and he's gonna pick me up. Then we're gonna go to the event, uh, to the place that we're gonna, you know, do that small tribute. See you guys later. This is Mr. Adip. Hello. Hello, say hello to the people. Hello. Uh, so, initially, the idea came from Mr. Adip um, to just have a small tribute to Toots. Toots. Toots Hibbert. Toots Hibbert. So, uh, recently, I heard from him, from, from Adip. So I, didn't, I, didn't actually know, I didn't actually know that uh, dude, dude uh, passed away. But, I mean, through Instagram, I scroll and I knew, I knew, sec, uh, after, after Adit told me, then when I scrolled down my Instagram, then I knew it from, from Instagram lah. So, Adit was the one who had the idea to do like a... Like tribute a, jam lah. Yeah, like a tribute jam lah. So, probably we just gonna jam for a bit, but... Probably I'm gonna try and see if I can record the whole thing lah. So, uh, uh, Mr. Adip, can you talk about uh, uh, Toots for a bit? Like, probably like, how how, how did how did Toots, like, kind of... Make, make an impact. Yeah, make an impact or probably like an influence to you lah. Uh, okay, I started listening to a lot of, of punk bands and my favourite was uh, Rancid. So, Rancid was was sharing in one of of the of the interviews on Big Cheese magazine. Uh, this was early 2000. So, Rancid, Tim Armstrong, the the lead vocalist and the songwriter for the band was was saying that his influences to write good uh, catchy punk rock song was listening to ska and reggae. So he was saying his influences was Desmond Decker, his influences was Toots and the Metals, Bob Mali, uh, his influences was a lot of Trojan artists, Scatterlight. So uh, I listened to everything that, that that was said and it snowballed to everything else. But Toots made an impact because he was so full. He was what? He was soulful. Soulful, okay. Yeah, he brought, uh, he brought the Motown soul, the blues into into reggae, into the reggae that he's he's playing. It's um, it's very bluesy. So that caught me more. Yes, I do love traditional ska and reggae. I do love Trojan. Artists, I do, but Toots made an impact because of his soul and his voice, how it carries the music itself just by him singing. So that caught me really good. Uh, so I've been listening to, to him, I would say, my whole teenage life uh, since, since Rancid and, and he said his influences. So Toots caught me a lot because of his voice. 
Then as years go by, I learn that he is a Jamaican icon. He's a national treasure. So the more I grew to love him, I miss his concert here uh, due to to time, due to finance. So I didn't get to go. And when now he he passed on. He, it made a mark in my heart because I've been listening to him my whole life. Uh. Yeah, so I thought of doing this tribute just to have fun with my favorite musicians. Uh, which is me. Which, which is, is me. Fahad. <laughs> uh, Fahad, Fahad, which is one of the soulful singer, which vocalist of uh, technically not our vocalist lah, but like he's he's a singer, uh, and then he's he's gonna jam with us as well. Yeah. So we have another guitarist who, which is called uh, Mr. Eddie. Eddie. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah. Eddie has has uh, a strong blues influence on him. So we see what what will happen today lah. It's, All right. It's more of having fun and paying tribute to one of uh, Jamaican icon. Lah. 